Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> there are some absolute tanks on this dock. Welcome back. This video is sponsored by Two More Cast Tackle Box. Click that link in the top of the video description. Check out that little tasty little treat for these crappie. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Well, it's morning for me. I don't know when you're going to watch this video, but it is October now. We are getting full on into fall. And today I want to talk about uh, three different setups that I have tied on on my boat at all times for fall crappie fishing. Uh, actually, there's four. One, I kind of alternate depending on if I'm fishing a lake or if I'm fishing a river. Today I'm out on the St. Croix River. And so, uh, well, let's just, let's just get right into it. So typically these crappie are going to shift off into that hard to soft bottom transition where rock, gravel, sand meets mud muck and silt. And I've talked in, in a number of videos about this. Um, fall fishing and then late winter, early spring fishing, it's exactly the same. These crappie stack up on that contour edge where that structural transition happens. Um, on the river systems, there's still that structural transition and there's still going to be crappie there, but the thing with river systems is it has a lot of current. These crappie can stay shallower. Uh, throughout the fall because there's a lot of current moving oxygen and food near them and so typically on a lake setup there's there's three rigs that I have tied on um, one is a double jig setup which I will tie on here in a second but the other is a drop shot rig super simple little drop shot rig here um, this is a bonehead tackle stump bug got a little kind of a shad coloration to it and then we're just using a eighth ounce little pencil drop shot weight. Uh, this is great for a bunch of different species this time of year, but crappie, especially when they get out deeper, casting along that structural transition is a great rig. And I'm gonna have this tied on the boat because we're gonna fish for some deeper crappie here on the river. Uh, the second one, or the third one, I guess, because we're gonna do the double jig setup, which I'm gonna tie on here in a second. If I'm fishing a lake, I'm fishing some sort of reaction bite as well. So. Here I got a blade bait tied on. Now you don't necessarily need a blade bait. You can use a jigging wrap, a lipless crankbait. I've done a few videos with those, um, but some sort of reaction bite to get these crappie to, to react to uh, more of a hard bait than just a plastic. Sometimes they're a little lethargic and they need a little jump start to get them biting. This bait is great. It falls fast. You can fish it quickly in deep water. Um, I love using lipless crankbaits blade baits like this and the jigging wraps, Acme Hike Rattle, uh, Puppet Minnows, Lucky John is another company that makes some sort of jigging wrap profile bait. But since we're on the river, the one that I'm gonna swap out for instead of my, my jigging wrap presentation or my blade bait presentation, we're gonna go dock shooting today. Yes, there are some good crappie on some docks. Um, like I said, if you have current pushing oxygen and food into shallow water, and when I say shallow, I'm talking like 10 to 15 feet. Um, there's some docks on this river that are in that 10 to 15 foot range. They're next to some current and those crappie can sit there and wait for food to get pushed to them because of that current. So I've got the six and a half foot ACC tied on. This is a one sixteenth ounce little jig head with the, uh, this is a purple and chartreuse stump bug. So you're probably wondering why are you talking about stump bugs? That's because this video is sponsored by Two More Cast Tackle Box. Two More Cast has been a huge sponsor uh, over the past few months. Um, to help me get out in the water and make videos like this for you. So in the link, top of the description, you can sign up for two more tasks, tackle box for $1. First, first month, one buck. And then when you go to sign up, make sure you add these. You can put bonehead tackle, the stump bugs in your cart and make sure you get them every single month. They are the only online uh, tackle box subscription company that I know you can actually pick your own lures. That's why I, I partnered up with them over the past few months. And so do me a huge favor, click the link in the top of the description, sign up $1 for the first month and put these stump bugs in your cart. Catch some crappie this fall. I mean, these things are gonna work great. We're gonna show you that today. I'm gonna show you a little bit on side imaging, kind of what that hard soft bottom transition looks like once we get out in the river and then we're gonna do some dock shooting. Actually, we're gonna start out with dock shooting because you need to have slick, calm water. As you can see behind me, it is slick, calm. This is a great dock shooting conditions. As we get into the morning, we're gonna get a lot more boat traffic and uh, those are gonna make some waves. A little bit harder to dock shoot. So we're gonna start off with dock shooting and we're gonna go to some deep water applications with the drop shot and the double jig crappie rig setup. All right. 
that was a little bit of a run and it's a little bit windier than i thought but i think we can still make it work there's no huge waves and there's no big boats out today which is good um i was out yesterday or two days no three days ago now dock shooting on this thing a little bit calmer water had to deal with some bigger boat wake but i did find some decent fish in here so we're going to drop the trolling motor down and hopefully these fish are still here <laughs> otherwise that run will be for nothing the main thing about these docks that you want to notice is they're in deeper water. I mean, the, the farthest out point of these docks are in somewhere between 10 to 15 feet. The reason that's important is because typically in the, in the fall, these crappie want deeper water purely for safety reasons. Um, so if you can find this deeper edge on these docks next to current, we got a ton of current going through here. You're going to find that, that food and you're probably gonna see some piles of bait fish on the live scope here in a second. And there are some crappie in there. They're really low to the bottom though. There's some chop here, but I think we can, we can definitely sneak a jig up under this, this dock here. I don't know if we'll be able to get it all on live scope. Yeah, oh my goodness, there's a ton of fish in there. Let's dial this back. There are a ton of fish in that dock. So let's uh, get our drag set just in case we hook, hook into a big one here. It was only about a 15 minute boat ride and the wind just took, picked right up. There we go. Smacked it in there. There he is. Got him. Got him. Good crappie too. Stay on there, buddy. Stay on there. There we go. Crappie number one. That is a good one too. That's about a 10 and a half, potentially 11 inch fish. I know I couldn't get it on live scope, but there we go. Stump bug gets number one. And we're gonna put him in the box for lunch. Oh yeah. 10, almost 10 and three quarters, almost yeah. solid, solid eater. There we go, crappie number one. Dock shooting for a lot of people is kind of a summertime thing, but man, it can be effective in the fall. They're stacked in there. These waves probably help me right now, and that's the reason they're stacked up in there. Not only is the current pushing food and and oxygen through there but these waves the wind pushing the waves they're kind of seeking this dock for safety right now i'm happy to take advantage of it wow they are just stacked in there there we go let that thing fall typically you you want to adjust your uh, your weights or your jigs every now and then oh, there he is felt the tap felt the tap Crappie number two, another good eater. Wow, they're just hammering it too. Like that's no doubt, <laughs> that was not coming out of his mouth. Crappie number two, let's see what we got. Another 10 and a half, another 10 and a half inch fish. Yes, you're gonna fry up good for lunch, buddy. Number two. Well, like I was saying before, uh, but I got bit. You want to change up your jig heads if you if you don't think you're getting bit uh, enough. Sometimes you need to slow up that fall rate on dock shooting. This is a 116th. Sometimes you got to go to a 132nd. Especially, I've been in Lake of the Ozarks dock shooting with Kyler uh, in the winter time, or I guess it'd be like late February, early March, when those water temps are in the 40s. A lot of times we got to use that 132nd. Just got to slow that jig fall. But water temps right now are 63. Oh no, missed it, missed it. So still kind of, still on the warmer side for these crappie. Rejected twice. We're gonna get that. I don't get the dock shoot very often. Three times, wow. I don't get the dock shoot very often, so my skill set is a little rusty. But man, is it fun to do when you actually get it in there like that. Oh no, is that stuck? 
Sometimes you skip it so hard it gets stuck on the wood. We're gonna have to retie, I think. I don't know if you saw earlier, there's a big school of bait fish right on the edge of the dock here on the live scope. This crop here just sitting in wait. They're ready to ambush. Let's see if we can catch a few more and then we'll go to uh, some deep water applications. My goodness. Stump bug is getting a little torn up. There we go. There he is. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> that is a good crappie right there. There are some absolute tanks on this on this dock. So one thing about this fall, if that guy's over 12, I'm gonna let him go. We're not gonna keep anything over 12. But I think this guy might be might be over 12. That's an absolute tank. Oh my goodness. And he is 12 and a quarter. These are the type of crappie you can expect in the fall. I know springtime fishing is fun because they're full of eggs and it's probably one of the heaviest, but the fall fishing, the bite is amazing. And you can get some absolute tanks like that. We're gonna let him go. Honestly, I'm almost to the point where <laughs> I don't wanna leave the dock. If there's fish like that on this dock, I don't wanna leave it. Just letting that jig fall. And eventually you'll feel that line just tick. All three of those crappies so far, that's what it's been. There's one. Here we go. Oh, it's, well, he might be a keep. This might be a 10 incher. He might keep. There's no limit on this river, but I like to, 10 inches, they're good fillets at that size. I switched up to more of a natural color. I think they just got sick of seeing that purple and chartreuse. So, let's see what this guy is. Uh, he's nine and a half. Nine and a half. He'll still fry up good. Close enough to 10. Again, there's no minimum size limit. I just, 10 inches is a good fillet, but nine and a half will keep. Good enough for the frying pan. This has been a struggle. I'm only gonna stay here for another about five minutes or so. Uh, the, there's just a lot of chop to deal with, but we're gonna, we might run down to where that structural transition happens. And I'm thinking there's gonna be a lot of crappie stacked up on one specific side of this point that comes out to where that structural transition occurs. And it, it's a good illustration of where you can find a lot of these crappie getting into October and even November. So let's see if we catch a few more off the dock and then we'll make a run. So you know how I said five minutes at this dock and then we'll run to another spot? Yeah, well, it's been about 15, but let's see if we can catch one more fish. We've caught a couple bluegill now. I wanna see if we can catch one more and then we'll run to another spot where it's either gonna be hit or miss. I'm not really sure if they're gonna be stocked up good on this wind with this wind or not, but. There's one. Be a crappie. Yep, good crappie too. Good crappie. Good crappie, buddy. Come here. Yep. All right, <laughs> that's the crappie we wanna end the dock on so we can go to find some deeper, deeper water crappie for you guys. That's another stud. Dock fishing in the fall, super effective. I don't get to do it very often unless I fish these river systems, but dock fishing in the fall can be very, very productive on these river systems. That is another stud crappie. Let's see what you are, buddy. 11 and a half. Look at that. 11 and a half right there. Easy, bud. You know what? You're gonna fillet up. I've decided. You're gonna fillet up. All right. One more crop. That was the last crappie. Now let's run up to some deeper water applications. Show you the drop shot and double jig setup on that hard to soft bottom transition. Well, made to the spot. I'm gonna show you some screenshots here. 
of what this hard to saw bottom transition looks like. And there, there's just so much bait down there right now. Um, I mean, you can see it on the side imaging, but that, that hard to saw bottom, it's gonna be a darker return for the soft bottom. And I, I drove around it. You can basically see on my GPS mapping system, <laughs> I've, I've been driving right pretty much on that edge uh, the past couple days. Uh, one great way to fish this type of structural transition is just to long line. If you got a double jig setup, just kind of drag it and slow troll. Um, if you don't have forward looking sonar like LiveScope or, or Hummingbird, uh, Mega Live or Lowrance, but there are schools, I mean, not only crappie, but there's gonna be probably some smallmouth, potentially some walleye. Walleye this time of year usually are gonna be a little bit shallower, but there's bait everywhere, and especially with this wind coming out of the north everything's pushed on this side of this big sand point that comes out this is actually a kind of a community hole walleye spot on the river so it's no secret but there are fish everywhere and we're going to start off with the uh the double jig rig i know drop shot probably be a little bit better application but um i want to put as much color in front of them i don't know exactly what they're going to hit uh, I got a feeling they're gonna hit this kind of silver stump bug because that's what those other crappie were feeding on that we were just fishing for 30 some feet down but this is that you can't you can kind of tell it on the live scope there's a as it slopes up towards this big sand flat the, there's a sharper return and towards the bottom here if I go out see how it's kind of a duller return as I point out towards deeper water that's kind of that that's that transitional edge Honestly, how I would do it is if I would just drop waypoints with my side imaging on where this structural transition occurs, and then I just troll that line of waypoints. You could use a buoy marker if you had to, uh, not ideal, but long lining this kind of contour section, if you don't, if you don't really have any uh, forward looking sonar, probably be the best way to go about catching these fish. I like to catch one just to show you that there are crappie that stack up on here. This is a fall tactic that I do use. Typically it's a lot more effective on natural lakes because there's not a lot of current and there's not a lot of other places for these crappie to hide this time of year. So they're kind of forced to go out into this open water. They find safety in the depths. All right, well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Those are three setups that I will always have on during the fall, especially on river systems. The only thing I would probably swap out would be the uh, double jig or drop shot rod for a some sort of reaction bait like a blade bait lipless crankbait or a um, like a jig and wrap type of setup dock shooting was the most effective today unfortunately we couldn't get any of those deeper water crappie to bite um, but that is a very effective way to fish for those crappie in the fall specifically on lakes they're going to start schooling up really tight i've had a lot of success doing that with these deeper water applications like the double jig setup or the drop shot um, Unfortunately, these crappie can't bite, and I'm on a limited time this morning to uh, actually fish. Got other stuff to do, so dock shooting, most effective. Caught a couple really nice crappie, that 12 inch and the 11 and a half. Awesome way to catch some big crappie in the fall. Do me a favor, check out two more cast tackle box. I'll leave the link in the video description, and be sure when you sign up for your first month for $1, be sure to add this. These are those bonehead tackle uh, stump bugs. I think I use a variety of colors. Pretty sure you can pick your colors in the tackle box as well so be sure to do that i always appreciate when you guys support companies that support me so if you have any comments or questions about any of the rod and reel setups today i will link everything in the video description but if you got any comments or questions post them in the comment section below or you can message me on either facebook or instagram i always appreciate hearing from you so i'm gonna get off the water right now i'm gonna go fry these fish up for lunch uh, get out on the water this fall have some fun, use these applications, catch some big crappie. Fall bite is something you don't want to miss. We'll see ya.